Good morning, guys. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. It is Vlogtober day 15. Can you believe it? If you watched yesterday's video, at least the beginning of it, um, I talked a little bit about how I'm allergic to cats. Well, I should have taken the hint uh, last night that I was giving myself and taken a Claritin <sighs> because my chest is so congested right now. I've basically spent three days in a row at the house only leaving for my pottery class twice. Though. So I spent, for the most part, three full days in the house uh, and my chest is letting me know that it was a mistake. But I uh, have arrived at the airport on the wings of victory in that I found a parking spot really close to the airport. I'm super excited. This morning, for some reason, this parking lot is packed, packed with people. Uh, the only parking spots I saw before this one were way the hell back there and people are circling around, cir circling around and I got this spot. I'm very excited. All right, so today I am flying to Orlando and then we have a two, and, two hour, 44 minute sit which really plays with your mind. And then we then we fly to Baltimore. So that Baltimore leg is gonna be nice and easy, but the uh, the early morning flight to Orlando, we'll see what happens. Uh, that sit is something else, I'll tell you. Um, I did not take the time this morning to uh, cut my hair or trim my beard. I meant to, but um, I spent that time playing with the cats and giving them treats and stuff. Uh, instead. So I think it was a better use of my time anyway. I did bring my trimmer with me so I can take care of that on this trip because I'm getting a little crazy right now. All right, so I'm going to probably, seeing that I have almost exactly an hour before I have to be in the crew room, I'm going to take a few minutes just to enjoy a little bit of my coffee. I got a lar extra large coffee, almond milk, four sugars, uh, and <clears throat> a breakfast sandwich. I'm going to take the time to relax a little bit here, eat, and then go into the airport. So I will see you probably at the airplane or in Orlando if I don't have time to say hi. So see you soon. Hey guys. All right. So I got to the plane. Um, our crew is awesome. Roy, who was with me last week, I don't know her first name, but we have a relatively new uh, coworker. She's in the back flying B. Uh, my chaser today is my friend Eric from training. He was in my class, which is exciting. He's based in Orlando. Um, you know, when coming off the plane, the incoming crew will frequently tell the outgoing crew what to expect when they get on the plane. Like, oh, you're gonna need ice, you're being catered, you know, whatever information you might need to know. Apparently, the forward lavatory is in up, it does not work. And the two lavatories in the aft of the aircraft, the back of the aircraft, apparently they will work, but only once we hit 16,000 feet. So I really have to make sure that people pay attention to that because, yeah, that could not be good. Uh, and of course, we need a lot of ice going to Orlando. But yeah, this should be a fun flight. Oh, there's no Wi-Fi either. Yay. So it'll be so much fun making those announcements. That's why I get the big bucks flying lead. Yay. All right. So let's get to Orlando. Oh, uh, flight time, 3.55, something like that. It's supposed to be 4.25, so that's fine. Uh, and... Um, we're full, 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 185 passengers. So let's go to Orlando. Hey guys, all right, so we arrived in Orlando probably 20 minutes early, which is nice. Although that just added to our sit, which we, was originally two hours and 44 minutes. Then we get here to find out that our flight is delayed. The next one is delayed to Baltimore. So uh, it is now 7.15. Uh, and I think our plane is arriving shortly. Um, I saw a gate agent walk down the jet bridge. Uh, they have to deplane, then we get to board and get on our way. So we are very much looking forward to going to Baltimore because we're all very, very tired. Uh, a long sit can just be debilitating, just sitting in the airport, surrounded by the chaos of what happens in airports. So. I'm looking forward to getting on our way. Uh, the flight here was... One sec, hold on. All right. So our flight here from Las Vegas was very, very nice. Our passengers were fantastic. Not a single problem in the bunch. Uh, we did have um, one passenger who was in a... One sec. All right. So 
Uh, this passenger of ours was in a wheelchair, a lovely woman with her amazingly nice boyfriend. Um, and when I, when I was chatting with them, I sort of wanted to, to remind her that we did have an aisle chair in the event that she wanted to use a lavatory. And um, it, it did come up naturally in conversation. It sounds like, well, why would you start talking about that? Um, and yes, indeed, indeed. Uh, she asked if we could use the aisle chair to use the laboratory. The poor thing was in so much pain. I think she had a recent surgery or something. She was in a lot of pain. Uh, but uh, it took, well, my whole crew to uh, figure out really how to use the laboratory with the wheelchair. And we all played a part in making sure it happened. But it was satisfying. God, it was so loud. It was just satisfying to help someone out and uh, the poor thing she was in so much pain but uh yeah really really patient she was lovely her boyfriend was amazing and uh, it was just a nice experience who knew a wheelchair on a bathroom on an airplane was gonna be a nice experience right so, blah 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 we're ready to go all right so i'll see you in baltimore oh, our plane arrived one hour 48 minutes to baltimore 205 passengers because we're on a 321 um, which means I really don't do much except for communicate with the flight deck which is going to be fun um, and trash it's all right hey guys a little warning I might be a little slap happy I am wicked tired uh, buddy did not let me sleep last night he woke me up a number of times uh, but uh, my show time at work was 820 which sounds like a normal show time for work, but that's way early for me. I usually do red eyes uh, the first day of my trips. But uh, today was fantastic. Really, really great. A little exhausting because it was a very long day. Our first leg was just about four hours. Amazing passengers. And my crew and I, I think we worked well as a team, especially uh, when assisting our guest uh, that was bound to a wheelchair. She was an aisle chair, which means she's non-ambulatory. And then to be able to get her from row four, where she was seated up into the um, Space Flex lavatory in the back of the aircraft, once we assembled it, because you have to disassemble the doors and reassemble it. And uh, But as a team, my coworkers and I worked really, really well. I was so happy with how we uh, were able to treat this uh, woman with the utmost of respect and have a nice time. Uh, as much as she could have a nice time, she was in a lot of pain. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it was very satisfying to kind of be there for somebody at that time. The sit was just eternal. I mean, it must have been closer to four hours. <sighs> but with a great crew, you can survive anything, right? And then on the flight uh, from Orlando here to Baltimore, I mean, we had the nicest passengers. I know you're probably tired of me saying this, but we had the nicest passengers today. Oh my goodness. Uh, this second leg of the day, um, I had a little Aust Australian family. They were so sweet. The little boy gave me, when they were leaving, he was like, here, you can have this. It's a little... Um, keychain from uh, from Australia, Melbourne specifically. And I thought that was just very sweet. And uh, it's nice when kids give you things when you're, they're leaving. It's like, hmm, I must have done something right today. Um, and then um, another little boy, he was 10. He was celebrating his birthday today. And uh, just the sweetest little boy, just the sweetest little boy. I was chatting with his grandmother and his grandfather who was sitting in the very front of the plane they, his whole family was sitting in the back of the plane, of course, because uh, the grandparents, you know, they wanted the comfortable seats up in front. But uh, the grandmother was telling me that he's had some developmental issues, um, in te you know, um, developmentally. Um, but he was, I mean, the sweetest young man, the sweetest little boy. Uh, we had a really couple really great conversations. He loves to read. He loves to read. We talked about books for a while. He loves to cook. He's 10 years old. Um, we were talking about um, our favorite picture books as kids. Where we, it was a cookbook in both of our cases. And we just had a little bonding moment over books and cooking. And he was so sweet. Really one of the brightest points of the day. Uh, but now I'm in my hotel room. And I'm very excited because I get to uh, heat some food up, eat, and then crawl into bed. 
Um, we, we've been here before, so let me see if I can hide my lanyard before I show you, because there's mirrors everywhere. Bathroom, you've seen this place before. Um, coffee maker back there, there is no microwave, but they've tucked a refrigerator in under the sink, that's fine. Back here we have a little seating area, a little desk, a little weird little bench, and then we've got the king size bed right there. Uh, you've seen this place before. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna settle in and uh, heat up some food. This is, now you all know I'm in love with my lunchbox. You know I'm in, I always talk about my lunchbox. This is what I'm eating for dinner. It's just a little frozen meal. But this is it here. It is completely solidly frozen and it's been in my lunch bag. It's been in my lunch bag since 7 a.m. this morning in Las Vegas. Now it is, 11:28 in the evening here on the east coast it's the best lunch bag i mean i know everyone well i don't know if anyone feels the way they do about their lunch bag as i do but uh there's a lot of bags out there i think this is the best i'm going to try to remember to put a link in the description box below um i've listed it i've linked it before uh but i really honestly think if you're gonna buy a lunch bag invest in a good one i think this one's like 68 dollars 70 dollars something like that but it's totally worth it this is the bag it's by majecto and it's called it's the large majecto don't get the extra large it's too big but um yes yeah, so i'll try to remember to put a link in the description box because i love that lunch bag i'm always talking about it blah 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 so i'm gonna heat up my food and then jump in bed, pass out because I am wiped. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me on today's flight and I'll see you soon. I mean, I've already said that. Fly safe.